Hello everyone and welcome to the custom menu tutorial for Fighter Maker 2nd. Today I'm going to show you how to add new modes to Fighter Maker 2nd within story mode. As you can see, I have three or two other modes you would say. Because since most of us are used to doing one-on-one -on -one matches only. But uh, I have a one-on-one -on -one mode, a team battle mode. In a training mode. Now, you wonder how is this done? Well, let me hit my F1 key. As you can see, I'm inside a fight. Yes, a fight. Not a demo, but a fight. <laughs> Most people believe that this is set up through variables. It is not. This is set up by using special divergent settings inside story mode that negates health and sees where the health is and then redirects. This is what we do with this. Basically you subtract health from the player and it will redirect you to wherever you want. So how do we do this? First thing we do is create a stage as a demo. So basically, whatever you do in here, do it in here. And so we have a variable here, system variable I 10 replace. And it's on, being my top script, it's got background. And then have another background, globe the player layers. This will make it above everything. And I just have my menu text. Pretty basic stuff. So I'm trying to explain how to do this. Okay. In our character, since I'm using Terry, or I am using Terry, and yes, this is from a previously unreleased game called Favorite Fighters 16-Bit. Uh, the creator is currently working on it, and it will be out whenever he finishes it. Okay. What we have here is uh, the system variable I was using in my stage. System variable I, 10, is the same, point to a coaster skill. Coaster. And then coaster item selected. Pause the video and add all the functions you see in this skill. Next, add, make this skill and add all the functions you see. Now, let's go back to our coaster. We have an object here with this position to 80 and 100. As you can see, it will be right here. That's about where it was inside our stage or demo. You will have to pretty much do this on your own depending on how you configured this. And my SG pointing back to my blank image here. And now I have it point back to the object. And yes, I have it set to unconditioned pick X and Y and point 127. This will make it to where it's above the player layer. If you do not have this like that, your coaster will not appear on screen. Next, I have a direct command input with the command time of 4, the dot pointing down, and it's pointing to here at function 11. Then, I have a command time of 4, coaster item selected, the D button pressed, it will go here. And I SG back to my first command. On the next item, what you'll do is you'll modify the Y axis of this coaster. That way when you press down, it will be right next to your second menu item. Man time of four dot up six. This will point it back to the first one. Next, we have a command time of 4, a dot, pointing down, going to 15. 
Next, we have another command time of 4, cursor item selected 5D, pointing to here. Let's she back to our next command. That way it's always going to go like that. Next, we have it pointed back to the second item with a command time of 4, a dot up 11 being here. Then, command time of 4, cursor item selected, 9D, pointing to here. Let's G back to here. Next, we'll go to our GC. Now, you'll wonder, his life, life gauge, negative 11. What this does is you'll need to create a dummy. And I have named him Custom Menu. What I did inside of him was him, her. It could be either sex, really. Uh, standing image, it's a blank. And loss, it's a blank. And just have my life set to one. That way it's easily to be killed off. Make sure this isn't checked. Now, this is pretty much a basic animation for when I select it. You can do whatever you want here. I just did this to make it faster. That way I can explain it. And we have a GC, negative 100, negative 11. This will subtract health from the player and kill off our dummy. Go back here, just a simple animation. Negative 200, negative 11. Subtracts health from the player, subtracts or kills off our dummy, and goes back to here. Now, once we have this, we should be able to have our coaster move up and down, and if we push a button, it will subtract the health and kill off our dummy. Now, go into our story mode. What we'll do is create a fight. We'll select the stage, mode select. Add the time to zero, number of rounds one, have all this the same, have this set to none, have a player position of 400, win points, player, 100. This will make sure that the player will always win this fight. Do not have these checked, because if you do, if you have these two checked, You'll end up having round one appear and fight appear. We don't want that. Go into CPU one tab and select custom menu dummy or custom menu character. CPU level is zero, start position is zero. Make sure the enemy is a player. Victory points a hundred. This really doesn't matter since we have no time. Now, these right here pretty much make this work. Set it to life gauge of round before the demo, 200. On this one, life gauge of round before demo, 100. And then this is set to zero. Now, how I get this appointment number is what I do is I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When this condition is met, I'm going to go down to here. Same for here. When this condition is met, I'll come here. One, two, three, four, five. Just to make sure it goes there. Then this one will go here. In part two, I will explain how to make sure these things work correctly. Most of the time, these are random. So it's a lot of trial and error involved. Next part, I will pretty much also show you how to disable your stage layout and how to make sure your life bars are not going to appear within on your mode select. Overall, this is pretty much mostly all you'll need to know about this, but stay tuned for part two.